What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mud and today I've got the long awaited and highly anticipated how to paint a dark Eldar witch. So this is my heck of tricks I'm going to be using but also I'm going to be pausing the video every once in a while or between the clips I'm going to be uh, painting up these guys, the crewmen for the Venom just to show you what the uh, color schemes will look like on different different pose which models. So uh, I'm going to be using this as the basic guide. I have two crewmen on the side <clears throat> and the paints you're going to need for this first video, hopefully we'll be able to get through them all. Mechrite Red, Den of Stone, Talarn Flesh, Hawk Turquoise, Master. Where's my Calvin Brown? Right here, Master. So we're gonna get started with Mechrite Red, and we're gonna be painting the hair. Igor. Yes, Master. What's wrong with you? You sound very depressed. Well, Master, it's just that we've got all of these vampire counts models. Still in the box. Haven't done any unboxings or reviews. The last thing you painted was Krell, which, although was very good if I say so, is already almost a week old. Well, um, variety. Igor is the spice of life. Well, I don't like it, Master. All this 40k business has put me off me head. I would sure like you to unbox and review the hex knights you have, or the crypt horrors. Uh, maybe I will do that, Igor. In fact, I'm definitely planning to at some point. Uh, just, I wanted to finish these witches. Is that alright? Yes, master, I suppose. Anyway, why are you complaining anyway? You're my slave. You're my servant. You're my manservant. I know. Can you guys tell I've had a lot of sugar for lunch? <laughs> oh, I'm making funny voices. Okay, it looks like that should do it. All right, next we are going to use our Deneb stone to paint the skin. Now there's lots of skin on these witch models. They're a lot different from Cabalite warrior models which might only have Dark Eldar skin on their face or or um um gosh a Cabalite warriors where would their skin show like on, only on their faces so I think. Whereas witches you've got you've got arms and legs and midriffs Yeah, for those of you who've been visiting my blog, I'm sorry I haven't been posting there. I just find like, now that I'm doing these live videos, it's so much harder for me to do work in progress shots, you know? Uh, not that I ever did much work in progress shots, I usually do a lot of showcasing photos, but 
try to get some more of my work up there for showcasing. Uh, just getting it up on photo bucket and then and stuff is just so time consuming. All right, we're also going to be painting any bones if you have like skulls or decoration on the model, like on the back of this Hecatrix, she's got this. That looks like a, looks like a Tyranid skull, but... I use the black base coat because the Dark Eldar model is predominantly black. Um, but you can use uh, you can use you know any kind of primer you want. Like you might not be going for the same kind of Dark Eldar color scheme, the GW color scheme that I am. So in that case, just use the primer that's going to suit you best. So and it looks like this one, only her right arm is exposed to the elements. So that's what we're going to paint. Right arm and her uh, right leg has some exposed skin there. Okay, next, I'm gonna paint Talarn Flesh. Now, this model isn't really gonna have the Talarn Flesh, but what we use Talarn Flesh for is the um, tabards or loincloths that you see on most of the witches. They usually have a strip of what looks like ripped and torn fabric. The Hecatrix has actually a strip of cloth, which is which we're gonna paint purple later, but for the crewmen like this, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so here's our model at this point. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add in, uh, we're going to paint Hawk Turquoise as an edge highlight to the armor. Now I've got a whole bunch of different <laughs> recipes actually for this. I use a privateer press paint, troll blood base. I use, um, I've used dark angels green in the past. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different and see, see if this is gonna work to the uh, Games Workshop Studio Army standard. So you want to get it mostly on the tip, get the paint mostly on the tip of your brush, and then just paint the edges up. For you uh, Space Marine players, you guys know what I'm talking about, this edge highlighting business.
Now you don't have to paint every plate of armor, which is kind of what I'm doing. Some of them, if you want to make them gold, you can leave them for now. Um, but like the... The armor plates are going to pretty much be this blue turquoise color for now. Anything that you don't want to choose to be gold. Okay. There we go. Speaking of gold, that's what we're going to use next. Calvin Brown is going to paint be painted on anything that we're going to end up painting gold. So, for myself, this um, armor knee knee pad. All the way to the blade. Um, I also like to paint the paint gold, the uh, design on the on this forearm band, and um, the agonizer. Yeah, Igor was right. I do have so much vampire count stuff. I gotta get done with that. I've got all my ogre kingdoms still waiting to get painted. It's just a crazy couple weeks, man. Okay, also you're gonna be painting any spikes on your leggings. So a lot of the witches have these spikes on their leggings. Some of them have them in different places. Uh, some of them have studs and rivets and spikes like along their entire stocking, so you're gonna need to paint those up. And also these connectors on the pants. Get that as well. And finally the gold plates on her stomach I'm gonna do, which not all all the dark eldar witch torsos are different, so some of them have armor in different places, others don't. I'm just gonna eventually paint this band along the bottom of her torso suit. As well as the, I don't know what this is, zipper, so zipper down the front, whatever that is. And before I go, there are a couple things that I missed. The nib stone. The great thing about when, when models have so much detail like this, you'll be painting You'll be doing a step and realize that you missed something that you should have painted like three or four steps before. So it's uh, it's totally fine when you've got such great detailed models. So in this case, what I'm talking about is this back trophy rack. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen the new White Dwarf, the Tyranids, and the Space Wolves? 
I'm wondering, I'm looking at this, the Fenrisian wolves, the, not the cavalry, but the, the wolves that look like they're running. And I think they look so good. And I wonder how many people are looking at those wolves and thinking, you know, if you have a orcs and goblin army that you can use those for the wolves. Because I know I would. Build up some wolf riders. Alright, so I also painted the back vents of this witch. That is kind of funky. There we go. I gave this girl a blaster pistol, so it's gonna have a gold nozzle. And uh, blade on the shoulder. Okay, in this part of the video, I actually started, but I had to, um, my, my computer ran out of disk, so, disk space, so I had to clean it up, but, um, as you can see, I already got started on the silver and the gold work. The paints we're using for this section are bolt gun metal, dwarf bronze, and lich purple. So using the bolt gun metal for the Hecatrix I painted, her headpiece, the three um, tubes on her back, the silver chain. Um, but for regular crewmen or regular witches in your squad, you're gonna see that most of them are armed with these splinter pistols. So you're gonna want to paint the um, bottom part of the splinter pistol as well as the tube. You're gonna see that most Games Workshop uh, Studio heavy metal which is there, or anybody who carries a, bolt, a splinter pistol, that's kind of what they look like. And um, now I'm getting to work on the dwarf bronze. Painting the gold up. I hate when I forget to clear my um, camera's disk space. The video stops recording five minutes in and like oh, I already f did the work I can't go back um, so this is the part where you're gonna need to paint over the Calton Brown base coat of what you want to end up gold so just take your time you want to smooth and even blend you don't want it to end up you know chunky chunky paint jobs are the worst so thin it down, use your ghetto wet palette, uh, put, wipe most of it off, do whatever you need to to ensure a good even coverage. Also, you're going to be painting, well, if I do these square insignia things on the back of the Hecatrix. Not sure what those are really, but I just paint them gold. And the, the gauntlet symbols, the embossed Dark Eldar symbols on the gauntlet. There you can see right there. Um, most Dark Eldar have them. painted the ones on 
the venom here I painted their one lady's gauntlet completely gold shoulder spikes too that's another thing shoulder spikes usually are gonna be painted gold you'll notice that on the witch box most of the shoulder spikes are painted gold so you might want to do that too Up to you last thing you're gonna want to do in this step is paint the purple cloth material most of them like I said most of the witches have this flayed skin on the front but some of them this one doesn't have it on the back but some of them have some purple cloth just draped hanging off the back so like this we're gonna be painting light purple It's gonna give it a really rich royal purple color. So do that with your witches and also with your hecatrix. What I usually say is that if it's long and flowy like this, and if it's got no tears or weird looking um, folds, then it is cloth. But if it looks like it's ripped and ragged and stuff, then it's probably flayed skin. In which case, like we did it in the step just previous to this, you would paint, paint it in uh, Talon Flesh. I also like to paint in Lich Purple the little whatever this is. And I believe there's an Elder symbol, Eldar symbol, on this back trophy rack as well. Right, uh, let's see if we can find it right there next to the purple tail. So, because this is painted gold, whatever that is, I'm gonna use bolt gun metal to paint it silver. Just to show like a little contrast in color. Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. We're gonna come back to it in uh, step number two, or video number two. The next video is gonna be all about the washes. So thanks for watching. We'll see you then. And I uh, hope you're enjoying this how to paint dark Eldar tutorial and I uh, hope you stick with it, especially if you have witches to paint up. I think this is gonna hopefully help you with your painting progress. All right, see you in the next one.